Hi guys, so for all the reasons that I covered in my previous videos, I'm exploring playing with a pick right now. And my goals initially are really quite simple. They're really getting in touch with my playing again, finding out who I am, um, you know, sitting in the pocket, being able to find the groove, being able to transition from lead to rhythm and lead again, you know, all of that fun stuff. There's a great quote uh, that kind of summarizes what I'm doing and that's your left hand is what you know and your right hand is who you are and and that pretty much summarizes what I'm doing so all of the you know the fast picking all of the the shredding and stuff like that that I can do later on I can leave that alone but right now I need to find out who I am again so I have been doing this well, a couple of weeks ago, I put up a, a whole series of backing tracks, really simple backing tracks, where there's nothing harmonically going on with them. They're just the same chord, they're just an E chord played at different beats per minute. And those are the things that I've been using specifically. So there's one at 105 beats per minute, which suits me quite well right now. And all I'm doing there is I'm just playing over it. I'm just getting used to, to finding that feel again when I'm playing over the backing track. So let's zoom in and I'll try and demonstrate. Okay, so I'm just going to start getting that feel going with my right hand. Just scratching the strings, finding some syncopation, that's all. And then start adding notes from the pentatonic scale. It doesn't really matter what I'm playing, I'm just playing pairs of strings here. I'm trying to get that feel going. And just have fun with it, really. Right, let's see if we can add some lead lines. We'll go back to the uh, strumming again. Again, it doesn't matter what you're playing, because it's all about working the right hand, I'm trying to find that feel. And if you make a mistake, it doesn't really matter, just pick it up again. So really simple stuff, you know, and the backing tracks are only 10 minutes long, so it's something you can do daily as kind of a warm-up routine, just reconnecting with who you are again. And the, the other interesting thing i found is that you start playing cliches, and so you need to throw those out, and when you do that, you start finding um, lines and things that you struggle with a little bit more, and then they turn into things that you can start practicing, and you build up, build up your skill just by doing this. So that's what I've been doing over the, over the last week or one of the things that I've been doing. Anyway, that's it for this week. Hopefully that was useful for you and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.